Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief Deadly Shadows. Now, I just got into the Overlook proper, and I do have to admit that I, as I try to keep my videos about 30 minutes long, I kind of ran into some issues while recording the second part of this mission earlier, so I had to come back and redo it because I got lost trying to find one piece of loot that I knew was in here, but I couldn't find it, and it took me like 20-some minutes to find it, and I ended up having an episode that was like 50-some minutes long, so I just figured I'd re-record it. <laughs> Ginny, if something happens to me, if I'm lost at sea or I'm unable to return for some reason, then make sure Edwina listens to the message I recorded on that onto that old me mechanist, Victrola. I put in the master bedroom. It's a sort of talking machine, and all she needs to do is turn it on, and she'll hear my voice and my farewell to her. Yours, Captain Moira. P.S. Make sure no one else is in the room listening when she plays it. The farewell is just for her. So we got a new note. Lord Moira left a message for his wife on the Victrola in the master bedroom. Secret room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. Now we know where to find the compendium. And also, I'm pretty sure Garrett used, said that same exact line when we found the secret room in the Forbidden Library as well. Also, it's completely unnecessary, but just for the sake of showing that it is possible, I'm going to show this. And now I feel like a horrible person. Yes, you can kill the cat. There's no point to it. There's no benefit of doing it, but you can. A secret room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. But yeah, you can't hit it with the blackjack to knock it out. <laughs> uh, 
thought I grabbed that now so I didn't forget it again. And now I'll continue on with the mission. In the overlook proper. So yeah, it took me 20 minutes to search around and search around and search around and I ended up after my video was approaching 50 minutes I figured I would look because I obviously wasn't finding it I looked on a guide and then I saw it and I'm like wow that's the one I forgot I didn't turn around and look at the coach The video ended up being 55 minutes long, and I. Hey, turn oh, that back on. Hello. So, I'm redoing it. Is that somebody there? You picked the wrong taffer to mess with. I know there's programs you can use where I could have added it to the video and cut it in half and stuff, but I don't, I don't have any editing software that I can use other than the YouTube one because everything else costs money or it leaves a watermark on your video. I'd rather not do that. needs to be off. for me on the Victrola. Really, Robert, can't you just tell me yourself? That silly Victrola annoys me. Why must we have that ugly mechanist thing crouching in our bedroom? If your message is really so important, then... then you'll tell me yourself. At dinner. 
Yes, dinner. I'll have Cook prepare all your favorites. You must be a friend of Robert's, perchance? One really ought to recognize one's own guests, but the fog has been so now thick she lately. Is wearing black Would veil. you, could you somehow find it in your heart to fetch me a glass of wine? The servants have forgotten. Wine. <laughs> Chilly night. I could go for something warming myself. You'll never believe it, Robert. The servants have had the impertinence to refuse it's me. It's actually quite a glass sad. She no, not she's either Robert, lost her mind you get a glass for from the grief, or she's in complete denial. But she believes her husband is still alive, and she believes he's going to come home to her. And as I said, it's actually quite sad. This lady will come up these stairs. That's one the grand way after all that. Yes, quite, quite, and all that stuff. I don't really blame her. I would have wanted to get over there too. That was. <laughs> that was quite annoying. I actually didn't mean for that to be a pun. I just meant it was quite annoying, but. Good noise. As I was oh. saying, and I was saying. Anyway. Moving on. I did it in the last when I was recording this before the recording that I'm not using. That lady who was coming up these stairs here, I knocked her out halfway up the stairs, and basically this is what happened. Except when she hit the bottom, she was all bent in weird positions and it looked like she was dead. This game is just weird and more you can try to throw it and you can just fall. I guess that works. Get that guy out of the way. And 
that is the Gadarga Tunnel. And this way we enter Robert's study. Thursday. Will the storm never let up? We've been kept in port for three days while the men stay on pay lest they find other work. The treasure perplexes me. What manner of gold is it that gleams so but does not dent? What does the strange symbol on it mean? Is it solid? No, not heavy enough. Hollow then. Friday. I endeavored to melt it, but the trevor treasure shows no sign of warp or scorching. I've been I've heard of things protected by wards and such. Could this be such an item? I have placed it in the secret room for now, but this warrants further study when I return. Monday. The weather finally broke and tomorrow will set sail, if the dock master is in the mood to take a bribe from an old marauder like me. Too bad I'll have to leave behind my fine gold telescope, the Nereid. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If that one guy hadn't been outside the door, we would have heard him say the name of it, so I would know how it's pronounced, but for some reason the guy spawned outside of the door. The glass lens is chipped. If I were a superstitious man, I'd delay the trip. For now, it will stay here on display in the rotunda. I'm going to put out this fire. There's the switch that opens the secret door. But where do I want to go next? I'm gonna go out and get that telescope. If I can. If there's nobody out there, I'm going to grab it. Ah, uh, there is But she's walking the other way. So, ta da, I got all three pieces of the special loot. Now, sorry, I have a bit of an itch right in the corner of my nose. I'm not very good at self self control when I have an itch like that, and I know I shouldn't itch it because I'm on camera. I just I can't help it. It just bothers me too much that I have to scratch it. The same way back when I used to play guitar here real heavy and I'd be right in the middle of a song and I would actually have to pause to stop and scratch my shoulder or my nose or whatever started to itch because I couldn't resist itching it until afterwards. <laughs> so yeah, just a bit of a weird thing about me. Not that anybody really wanted to know, but... <laughs> I just felt something on my elbow. I almost felt like something was crawling on my elbow. Lights. Hey, turn that back on. Hello? Shouldn't that light be, uh, on? Uh, yeah. Now, what am I worried about? Nobody's gonna try anything with me, seeing as how muscly I am and all. <laughs> I have to admit, I've never heard one of them say that. I don't think I've ever heard one of them say that. If I have, I do not remember it. That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Missing? Some taffer stealing? From me? Oh man, did you imagine? 
imagine if that actually shows up as one of the possible um, thumbnails. If that shows up as one of the thumbnails, I'm using it. <laughs> Did I just hear something? Oh. I mean, if that... How could I not use that if that shows up as a thumbnail? Hearing a bunch of noise in the area, and you come around. Hopefully, that sound there. was just a, a sound. <sighs> Wouldn't you be looking in all directions? Up on the cupboards, in the corners, anywhere something could be hiding. Anyway, clams and noodles, Captain's favorite. One pound clams scrubbed and set in strong wine for an hour. One pound of noodles butter, one head garlic. Boil the noodles and the soaked clams. Cook the garlic in the butter, toss, serve it up with more strong wine. Doesn't exactly sound like a pleasant meal. I mean, it might be. It might actually taste good, but to me, it doesn't sound good. Now, I'm going to bring this wine up to the widow because she wanted somebody to bring her wine, and none of the servants are bringing her wine. So I'm gonna be a nice guy and bring her some wine. Don't ask why, it's not like you get anything for doing it. She just says she's grateful, and that's about it. <laughs> See, as I said, it's just sad. She thinks he's alive. Thank you. Now perhaps I can settle my poor nerves. So kind of you to fetch it, so that I could stay and watch for my dear Robert. I know I've not thanked you properly, and a poor woman's gratitude is not worth much these days, is it? I can hardly trust my other house guests. They think I don't hear them sneaking about, but I do. When my Robert returns, he'll deal with them. Anyone who has stolen from me. He'll always look out for me, one way or another. My Robert, my sailor. Yeah, as I said, again, it's, it's quite sad. She still believes he's gonna come home, and it's quite obvious that he won't be coming home, but... As I mentioned earlier, I don't know if she's just kind of lost her mind from grief, or if she's just in denial, or what, but it's sad. And it gets even sadder when, in order to complete this mission entirely with 100% loot, I have to take everything they own. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen. What? Where? <laughs> um, I didn't go down that way. I think you would know if I went that way. Let's see. 
how long does it take him to find me or go back to doing whatever he's gonna do? He's probably just gonna give up. Now I've got complete darkness over here. Darkness is my friend. Um, I did not run off. I am not a coward. I honestly barely moved at all. You kind of ran away from me. Lights off? I can't guard in the dark. Why not? <laughs> Don't be stuck. Why is he? Why is he walking up the wall? What? <laughs> Their AI seems to be a bit buggy. Sometimes they'll get stuck on doors or stuck in a corner and just walk and walk and not go anywhere. Or as you saw there, they'll walk into the wall and start to go up the wall. just knocked that guard out in and opened the chest in over here. So now I'm going to go that way. And it only opens it temporarily, so you can't really... Can't take too long. Ta-da! If I missed more boot, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> That's got to be the compendium. We've got compendium, and here, Edwina, if you're reading this, it's because I am gone, but fear not, for I have provided for you. The money in the chest will keep you surrounded by servants. There's a golden slab, too, but it's a mystery to me. It could be some kind of fool's gold or enchanted. You wouldn't need you won't need it though, not with that chest filled with coin. Yours forever, Robert. And this is why I feel so terrible about taking the coins from that chest. This note. The widow needs the money in the chest in the captain's secret room to survive, but she doesn't need the compendium. She needs the money to survive. But if I want to get all of the loot, I have to take it. So basically, basically, I'm pretty much guaranteeing she's going to die by doing this. And that just... <laughs> See, you can't even collect on expert, you can't even collect to the 90% without taking that. You have to take that if you want to finish the mission on Expert, even without all of the loot. So yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I feel like a terrible person for that. Do you wish to leave this area and enter Overlook Grounds? Yes. 
but they force you, if you're playing on expert, they force you to take that and pretty much sentence her to death. <laughs> I mean, granted, stealing from people isn't exactly a good thing to be doing, but when you're stealing and you, you see that mold saying that she needs it to survive, basically telling you if you take this, you're gonna kill this lady, and you have to take it, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of horrible. But now. I think I can get out this way. I've stolen the compendium, but I can't read it any more than Captain Moira could. I'll have to bring it back to the keepers. Besides, I want to see the look on their faces when I hand it over. They've been searching for years. And I found it in one night. So, stats. I got all of the loot. Took me 44 minutes. I was caught once by the... the oh no, it was that one guy there in the, at the kitchen. I think that's the one that caught me. Blackjack, 22 people. Nice. Okay. Continue. So, that's it for that mission. And we wake up in the Keeper compound. Or in the Keeper place. So, thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next episode.